I'm on my way. 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 She goes, it's quite beach today, no waves. What have you just found? A sea turtle. A, a little turtle. baby sea turtle. And we have tried to put it in the water, but what does it do? It just comes back in. It swims the wrong way. So look at what did the lady say we should be doing? Oh no, put it over here and do its thing, Yeah, so we just bring it, brought it to the edge so it can maybe dig itself a little hole in the sand. So shall I pop it in? It's alive, I think. <laughs> yeah, they're wondering what the cat's doing in their tree.
this is Timmy making the bead. Because he filmed me, I'm going to film him and you can make up your mind who is better at it. It's not making a bead, it's origami. Uh, who has got the cutest bite of us? <laughs> You're doing so well, sweetie. I think this might be your job. What's your tactic? Of a cursed day today. Looking pretty grim. There's not so much we can do. Drizzling, raining in the dinghy. There are quite a few clusters of wind that blow here out. fingers Nina. It's mm. always yacht work to do isn't there? Yeah. What you doing, Nina? Practicing my rowing. How's it going? Yeah, all right. I think Lu Lucy is approving. Her tail wakes. <laughs> right. You wait, Luch. Wait. 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 Good girl. Good. What are you making? Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. I'm attempting to make them. God knows whether they ever taste good. Oh, but they have a rise in the oven. I've got a bit of butter left over. I'm just trussling it on the top and hope for the best. Are they made with yeast? Yeah. There's a dog here. Specialty, especially in lockdown depression. On cold, windy days. Windy days. We have some uh, 
marina friends. There's about a thousand yachts here on the marina and there just happens to be about three that are living aboard during this lockdown and um, Yeah, this particular boat is also called Sunday, which is one that we follow on YouTube as well, but not this one. This is a catamaran registered in New Zealand uh, with a Brit Aussie couple and who have um, offering to um, give our kids some art lessons. He's an ex carp designer, a very um, accomplished man, and uh, giving the, the family some art lessons as part of their schoolwork, which is just magic. We're going to have a look. Now this is the concentration's enormous. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan King. <laughs> the King's art group. No, we, we call it the Sunday art group. The Sunday art group. On Thursdays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> Gee, they didn't have a clue, really, because they'd had done I that think that first. was really eye opening for me, this yeah. one. That you don't use those lines because that's what usually people do naturally. And that seems really scary to yes. shape that dark. Yeah. Yes. And everything is exactly the same. Yeah. That rule. No. Okay. So as soon as you do that, you can do anything. Right. I just wanted to have a little chat about some things we have on the boat. And one of the things that um, I thought about bringing on the boat and um, things that make like life easy and on the boat we're trying to reduce our footprint and rubbish so um, this seems a bit granddaddish but I've gone old school Silke bought me this little kit after I said I wanted a brush she bought me the whole shooting box with the old style razor and um, and the soap and to be honest I'm really surprised at how good a job this little setup um, does on having a shave. I guess it depends on individual faces, but um, I think generally the advertising world has done an incredible job of ripping us off. <clears throat> These razor blades are cheap. I think it's about, I don't know, three bucks, five bucks, New Zealand dollars for 10 blades. Now they last about as long as, each one lasts about as long as one of the fancy four blade, you know, safety contour forming, whatever they are that, that they sell you on TV. It doesn't matter how many blades, one blade will do the job perfectly well. So um, yeah, this lasts a long time. Now all the shave foam, that we get that mostly we put on our hand put on our face a lot of it 90 percent of it goes straight down the plug hole well this pot of shave soap will last about one year and cost about the same as a um, can of shave foam so this little setup is perfect for boats and um, and I've actually found that this razor is far nicer on my face, gives me less, I, mean, I don't cut myself, and gives me a perfect shave. So why would you need a super expensive um, safety razors? I'll show you how it works. Small spot for a shave, but um, this is our yacht head slash um, shower bathroom. And um, so this is where I have my shave. Just to note that these here do not seem to be affected by contrary popular belief that um, women using them on their legs and armpits are blunt in the blades. Silka uses it, perfectly happy. And this lasts for such a long time. So usually I have this after a shower, but um, middle of the day, just wet my face. And you need such a tiny amount of soap. So I just use just a little dab of soap on the end of my um, badger, badger, Satan, badger brush. 
They need a little bit of looking after. Whoops, a bit much water. So this is variable. Sometimes they get really thick, thick um, soap. But that's a lot of soap for a tiny amount on there, which is going to last me about a year. We get this. Notice no fancy contour tilting head. It just sits there. And excuse my funny expressions because I have to tighten this old face while I. Uh, Shave. With my old modern shavers, I had to um, have a shave directly after a shower because they wouldn't cut, you know, it would hurt my face. But this is just easy and it doesn't hurt. Then take off the extra stuff and super inexpensive and as I said give that a go there are lots of barbers that sell these things there are online sites that sell them I mean tons of different options my uh, razors are German but there's Japanese there's everything so um, I highly recommend giving it a go and there are just so few uh, disposable bits, and it's cheap. Welcome, my friend, to the long white cloud of that old star, burning at you strong and true. What are you grateful for today? I'm grateful for Jonathan and Dot. They are the people we met. They have bought a catamaran on the jetty opposite. And it's so beautiful to have an extended bubble in lockdown. And um, they feel like adopted grandparents, really. But it's really lovely to be able to share this time with someone else. So I'm super grateful for their company and their kindness. And yeah. It's just lovely to have them around. I'm grateful for Papa's friend that gave us this cool little data tool kind of thing for free too. Oh yeah, I'm grateful for our doggy companion. Tim, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for having bought our yacht off a really nice seller who is now helping us install our water maker.